But I just want people to understand that you, you can handle any penis. There's no penis question you're afraid of. <laughs> You've heard it all. I'm not afraid of anything, but there, <laughs> no, even to this day, I, I learn things that people do uh, to their penises, to their bodies that I could never uh, expect that I've never seen in a textbook. And sometimes we have to learn things on the fly in our uh, daily practices. But yeah, just about anything is that's imaginable, I've probably seen. Okay. We were just thinking about some uh, things. I feel like we could hit on uh, crooked penises. A lot of men's penises start to, they're crooked. Either they're born that way, right? Dr. Cartman, yeah. or they start to, Peyronie's happens? Yeah, yeah Peyronie's disease. And, and you know what? It, the cool thing is that we're seeing commercials about Peyronie's disease now. I know. What's that about? Anyway, well, talk about Peyronie. Yeah. So Peyronie's is an acquired disease that, it's a scar that forms on a man's penis most common locations is on the top. Like, so if you're looking down, it's the top of the penis. And the most common uh, curve is upwards, okay? And the curves could be mild, uh, like 10, 20, even up to 30 degrees. And we call those functional curves, meaning that they're just enough sometimes to actually work in, in their favor. They right. Hit that in right in our favor, they hit the G spot. Exactly. And, uh, but sometimes they're a little too excessive. Like if you have like say a 90 degree curve, say imagine a penis that's bent, like literally a 90 degree angle. Yeah. And so it'll make it kind of hard to have sex in that way. Or if you have say a curve that's to the right or to the left, uh, even if it's mild, like 30 or 45 degrees, but then when you're having sex, you keep hitting your partner's ovary yeah. you know, every time you thrust. Um, it's also associated with shrinkage of the penis and narrowing of the penis um, in the early stages, guys have pain in their penis every time they get an erection. Right. And it's a, it's a very, uh, it's a bothersome disease. It's obviously not life threatening, but guys, when they have anything that pops up on their penis, any and, hard lump, yeah. they think, oh my God, the worst, and they're coming in, I'm going to tell them I'm going to have to cut it off. So the first thing we always do is just reassure them that this is a benign process, but it, the deformity can be very troubling for the, for the patient. Mm -hmm. And we have to talk about, you know, how, how do we fix it? And so the cool thing is that we now have our first FDA-approved drug on the market to uh, treat Peyronie's disease, which is like an injection. Okay. And, and so the, the guys come in, and we give them a shot uh, right into this little scarred area, and, and they get several shots, like weeks apart, and the shot actually will dissolve the scar tissue wow. over time. And they could restore their um, angle of their penis, the straightness of it. Peyronie's disease is not something that people ever talk about. Like, who knows about Peyronie's disease unless they have it, you know? Exactly. Unless they've been to a doctor. And a lot of guys have it. They just don't know what it is because Ex they're too scared to go to the doctor. Exactly. Because men don't talk about their penises to anybody. Even if they're at the doctor, talk about their penis. Or even if they're at the doctor and the doctor asks them, they don't talk about it. But you don't let them get away with that, right? Dr. Cartman. Well, I hold, I hold their feet to the fire. Yeah. <laughs> you do. Like, I know there's something with your penis.